<laughs> Hello everybody. Um, today is gonna be um, the first episode of a new series that I like to call What My Friends From High School Are Doing Now. And today I am with probably one of my favorite people on earth. This is Jonah Mazur. John and I had every single class together for the past four years. Yeah. First period, through sixth period, every single day, his face, mm -hmm. my face, 7 a.m. <laughs> to 3 p.m. Sure, I mean, like... John was the smartest kid in class. Yeah, definitely not. Hopefully nobody from our class is watching. For our teachers. Anyways, Jonah and I met because we were both in a program at our high school called AME, mm -hmm. which is Arts, Media, Entertainment. Entertainment. Academy. Academy thing. Basically like a film program at right. Calabasas High School. Yes. Which was able to kind of, again, like teach us about just everything, I think, or a good majority of film production. And Jackie was in it. I think she, well, I mean, you can say more. Right, so I joined the program because I was like, oh, a film program, that sounds amazing. I could, you know, be in the little movies that we make, but I also wanted to learn the other side of it and how to edit and lighting. And I thought that was really beneficial. The program was everybody kind of had to do every single job. Right. I never did the other jobs. I always ended up just being in the movies. And then Jonah would write them, direct them, edit them. <laughs> totally. Jonah did everything. So that's how Jonah and I became friends because he would just write me into everything. When you have to, like with this, I mean, you have I to. I mean, with the skills, it was just, <laughs> it was kind of like a match made in heaven. But seriously, like Jackie being in, in our program was like, we weren't just working with like film geeks of that wanted to be actors. There were people that have actually had acting experience. And for me, even as like a director to like learn from that too sometimes is, is really, really cool. Her sort of arc of, of her career, like through film, f through our high school program. Jonah got a watch kind of firsthand, which right. I thought was really neat too, because with Malva Rescue and auditions, like. Everybody in that class was equally as involved in my career as I was. So it was really nice to be able to watch everybody in our, you know, grade grow together, especially in this super small program, because there was only what? Like, like 20 of us. 20 maybe. of us, and it kept getting smaller every year. And it was just really nice to see everybody grow together and what they've learned from our freshman year to our senior year. Yeah. But I think the same thing goes for Jonah. It wasn't like I was just, you know, being in a little movie with some kid who, you know, whose mom bought him a camera and he didn't know what he was doing. Like, Jonah has been on top of his stuff. How long have you been doing this for? Seventh year of, like, film production classes. Basically. And so Jonah, I mean, obviously was at a higher level than a lot of the other kids in the class just because he had so much experience. So the same way Jonah learned from me, I learned so much from Jonah just because he taught me so much about the other side of the camera, which I didn't know much about. Yeah. So that was really beneficial. And honestly, it's just been a really strong, beneficial, supportive, amazing friendship for the last four years. 100%. Jay has been saying, I think it's it's been a lot of, of like learning from each other, which I think has just been uh, a huge part in, in both of our careers for sure, because we can make mistakes with each other and that wouldn't, uh, you know, that, that wouldn't affect the way that, you know, things go on later when we're on sets and- Exactly, like we are kind of like the trial run for each other. It's like we can try new things and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, so we don't have to make those kind of mistakes on a bigger set. Totally. So we are gonna get all into Jonah. We're gonna get all into everything that he's been doing since high school and in high school. I'm looking for the rest of Yeah, uh, I, I grew up in Los Angeles. I grew up in Sherman Oaks. Um, I moved to um, this house right next to Millican Middle School when I was in seventh grade. 
and literally could walk right to school. We had this giant RV garage that we turned into this big movie studio where we could kind of create sets, build things, shoot things, and just be as a super creative, which was kind of an interesting opportunity as like a kid to have a space like that. Um, but when I was in seventh grade, I started this program over at Milliken called CAM, which was like cinematic arts, blah, 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 blah. My teacher, her name was Karen Bennett. She like, again, all of us praise her because she taught us just, again, everything. She took us from that beginning step and threw cameras into our hands and was like, you're going to just make movies. And we probably made 20 films in the span of like two years just in this program together. But what was really interesting, and again, why I think a lot of like people came out of that so successful was because it wasn't group work. It was, you're going to make a movie and you're going to do it by yourself. And there was you weren't going to get any help. Be a way of learning how to do everything. And, and as such a young kid too, it was like so inspiring for people, I think, because it was just a lot of uh, just new ways of, of thinking, okay, I, I, have to sh I have to write this script in like two weeks. I've got to shoot it. Some kids would even learn how to play guitar for a score. Like, you know, it was that kind of environment. And that was sort of where it all began. And then going to Calabasas with a little bit of knowledge um, was really cool because I felt like people sort of look up to me in a, in a little bit of a way because I kind of came from a, a background of knowing a lot of this stuff and just practicing. But since that, since seventh grade, I don't remember a weekend where I haven't had a camera in my hands. When I was a freshman, I started a company called Mazer Productions, my last name, which was basically like an event videography business. I had my bar mitzvah when I was like in seventh grade and then I was just like going at it. I was like, hey, I want to make some money. I learned that like I can be profitable that way. So I started it was this like company. like light bulbs everywhere. Light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs. So I started this company. I would just start calling people. Hey, you know, if you need a videographer, photographer, I was like, whatever skills I could pull out of me to like just get hired to do it, that's where it all began. From there, I met someone at an event who hired me to shoot an Adidas commercial when I was in like my sophomore year of high school. Um, and, and things just kept rolling from there. Now I've worked for, I work for Drew House as one of their like creative content um, directors and uh, I've shot for Calvin Klein, Mercedes. I mean, I, I don't wanna like, we can go for it. Don't need to, don't need to brag. Don't need to go through the list. But if you're, if you're willing to put in the work, you know, the universe will put opportunities into your lap. And I think if you're ready for those opportunities, that's when you can really be successful. I think it was probably like sophomore year, my friend Miles and I, Miles Salzgeber, um, who I've known since second grade, we had a little band together um, and we would uh, serenade Jackie, even though she, <laughs> she wasn't even around at that point. I was around sophomore year. No, no, in second grade when we had uh, that band. I came later. She, she came later, she came later. But we I got serenaded sophomore year, not plenty, second plenty year. Of plenty, of plenty of times. And Miles and I, Miles's dad is a music video producer, film producer, and my dad's a screenwriter. Um, and so we kind of both were like, hey, we've been friends for so long. Uh, let's let's like start something together, because we can't. Um, we're high school, it's like, who, you know, who cares? Let's, let's try something. Just kind of came up with this idea. At 6 a.m. every morning, we'd go to Starbucks, we'd meet there. We would whip out our computers and start typing in, you know, the things that we wanted to do. We made a website, we called it Living Records, um, which was sort of the idea that like we can make these up and coming artists like a living record, put them on the wall of the records, right? Now since then we've, we've shot like 30 music videos, we've worked with probably 15 artists, and we just bring in people who are just, want to tell stories and just create content with them. You know, through that, Scooter Braun noticed like some of this work, I ended up working on this cut for Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith and kind of got introduced to this whole world of Drew House. Um, they really liked our team. It's just, it, again, it's, it's like just these crazy opportunities of being at the right place at the right time. And when you're there, knowing, you know, what to do um, with, with those skills that you've, that you've acquired over the past, you know, few years and stuff. Drew House is something that I, I work on regularly. Um, obviously Living Records, we've, it's November, we've got like four music videos going on this month, and um, I mean, I could go on and on about other stuff, but that's sort of like my high school career and how I am where I am today. I think almost to go back to when Jenna was talking about how when he went to Milliken 
and he met this teacher and she was kind of the one who started him from the ground up and was like, you have to do everything yourself. I think it became so evident in Jonah over the years and when he went into high school, because Jonah can write something, he'll direct it, he'll find his own actors, he'll edit it, like he'll compose it, he'll do everything that he needs to do, totally. which is not something that you find often in filmmakers. You find somebody who's like, oh, I'm, I'm just a director, I, I'm just a writer, or I just like to edit. I'm, no one's really everything. And I think as cliche as it sounds, like Jonah is the complete filmmaker package. And going back to, you know, being at the right place at the right time, it's also part of that, but Jonah creates opportunities for himself, you know, writing down the things that he wants to get done and then actually going to do those things are very different than people who say that they want to do those things and then kind of do nothing about it. And Jonah also doesn't take no for an answer. So, Very you know, true. anything that has happened is because he has put in, you know, a thousand percent of himself. And I even remember when we were in high school and Living Records was just an idea and it started to kind of evolve. And over the years of school, like our teachers would always continuously get mad at Jonah and Miles for working on Living Records <laughs> stuff in class. Yeah, like yeah. it became a running joke um, with all of our teachers that nobody was doing any work because everybody was working on this Living Records idea. And then here we are a couple years later where they have, you know, 30 music videos and so many insane, talented, like kids who are now a part of that. And I will tell you a funny story that like, although Jack and I have been friends for so long, I remember like one of our first music videos, we were like, we had this music video idea, we needed like this beautiful girl. We knew that that was sort of like the, you know, the ideal person for that music video. We were like, oh, Jackie in a music video, what a pull we'd have to. Yeah. And I just remember like her saying yes to that video. And I was like, oh, the fact that like she could have been in our, one of our first music videos, like literally the first it one It was, ever... and I, I remember when I got the call and then it became another <laughs> running joke in the class where it's like, okay, Jonah and Miles are doing this whole separate thing. It's not part of AME, but Jackie's of course Jackie's gonna be in the first AME. one. Yeah. Um, it's been so nice for me to watch Jonah's like evolution, I guess, because I've been there, not since day one, I've probably been there since like, year five um i kind of came in a little bit late but just from since i met him to where he is now is you know honestly amazing and i think that it's always really beneficial to keep these types of friendships in your life people who have sort of the same you know aspirations and goals and dreams and ambitions that you do are really good people to constantly keep in your circle because those are the people who are going to motivate you to do better. And I said that I wanted to start a YouTube channel. Jonah was kind of the first person I called and now Jonah and I work together on coming up with ideas and editing and he's always there for me when I need him and I will always be available to Jonah whenever he needs me for whatever. And also for the Jesse's Girl music video, which I know oh, yeah. a bunch of you guys have watched, um, Jonah was the DP on that. Our friend Miles, his dad was the producer and asked if I would do it. And I was like, of course, I don't think I've ever turned down um, a little Jonah Miles Jackie, like hang right. out. Now, you know, that has almost like half a million views. Half a million yeah. views. And I've gotten so many of you guys from, you know, that video to here to my channel. It's kind of funny, like I, on my computer, I've got like the vocabulary screensaver thing. Yeah, I've been watching that the whole time. The, the word that just popped up was like manifestation, which I think is actually so ironic as we're talking about this here. When we started as freshmen, we, we were make, literally making you know, these small little music videos and then that kind of grew into, okay, maybe it's this company. Now we worked on a big budget music video together and I know that, you know, when I direct my first feature film, like, Jack, there's no way Jack's not gonna be in it or starring in it. And that's gonna continue and continue because we're our own base, like in our own uh, foundation for each other. I go to USC now for film uh, production. I don't know if we like mentioned that. They bless that. Filmmaker's but... dream is right. to go to the USC film school. And he's going to school and is part of this film program, but still working on his own projects. Yeah. And I think the biggest thing that if anyone is going to take anything away from this, it's create your own opportunities yeah. and kind of be the person who decides like what's gonna happen in your life. If you have a dream or you have a goal and you wanna do something, do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it, 100%. The difference between people who become successful and people who don't is people who wanna actually put in the time, 
and the effort and I think, I mean these are just two pretty good examples of putting in the time and the yeah. effort um, gets you places and the world kind of rewards you back. Nothing I think has been handed to either of us, I'm which I think probably the most like humbling and rewarding part of it all is like whatever Jonah has, is doing, it's because Jonah earned it and deserved it. And I feel like it, it goes both ways and I don't know, I'm just extremely proud of the person you've become. <laughs> and right back at you. <laughs> Especially in the, the world that we live in today, there's so many different platforms for people to kind of express their creativity. Um, and so honestly, like, the sky is the limit with the yeah. entertainment industry and being creative and figuring out like what works for you. Maybe you should try every field, you know, try being an editor, try being a director, try being an actress, try being a writer. Because I think they all kind of go hand in hand. I think a really good director, a really good writer, have also experienced what it's like to be an actor. Because like there's a way that you have to communicate with your actor as a director and a writer that, you know, you would want the actor to understand. So being in their shoes helps you understand yeah. and vice versa being a director helps you understand as an actor, you know, what the director's looking from you. Which I think is probably the most beneficial part of our friendship is we've kind of been able to step into each other's shoes at times. Mm -hmm. I really think, you know, get your friends together, get your parents together, 100%. your cousins, whoever you want, and, and just make a movie or a little short film about something that you're passionate about. But try to find, you know, what makes you happy and what you think that you're good at and what you could potentially see yourself doing, doing yeah. for the rest of your life. And that answer doesn't have to be so clear it right have to be away. So clear right, yeah. right now. I'm grateful, Jackie's grateful that we've kind of found these things that we love doing. We've been able to kind of shape that um, that career for yeah. ourselves a little bit. And I think it'll click too. Yeah, 100%. There's certain things when you try different things, and oh, I, I might like that, but when you find the thing that you really want to do, there's nothing else that, you know, kind of compares to that. From hard work and believing in himself, and I think that's the most important thing. 100%. Go check out Living Records, Living Records Music, uh, is our Instagram and then livingrecordsmusic.com. There's so much content we've got coming out, and if you are an aspiring uh, music artist and you're, you know, have that next song that you think is gonna like change the world, definitely just hit us up, and you know, we, we shoot music videos all the time. This is your, this is your Jackie R. Jacobson YouTube team right here. Behind the scenes. This is the us computer. right now. Yeah. So if there's anything else you guys are interested in or any other questions that you could have. For Jonah or I, put them in the comments below and we will try to get to those as soon as possible. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this, you know, was as beneficial as, you know, I hope it was and I'm sure it was. Um, so thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!